guys are going? Um, I'm in a whole different area right now. You may be wondering, Goji, where the fuck are you? I'm squatting outside the, po the, the post office. I'm gonna wander around and I'm gonna videotape it. <laughs> For absolutely nobody. And you may be wondering, Goji, what the fuck are you doing away from home? And the answer is, I don't quite know. So, what I'm doing today, or what I'm going to do today, is I'm going to walk around this one plaza, and maybe I'll wander the streets, but this is actually a safe place to be. There's only one person over there. It doesn't really matter. Uh... I took a couple minutes to survey this place. Nobody's here. At least nobody that I spotted other than the, the one over there. But it don't matter. Um, thing is, I don't wanna look awkward because I already look, I already look dumb enough. But I don't really wanna walk the streets because um, this is the only rag I have. And I kinda look like a hood. Uh, it doesn't help that I'm wearing sunglasses. But anyway. I'm gonna get up, <laughs> fucking, and I'm alone too. Usually, I bring my brother or my mom or somebody, but I'm all alone. And um, you know what? Worst comes to worst, I'm gonna use this stick. <laughs> That was fun, whatever. Man, I really wish that I had money to pay someone to hold the camera for me. Because this looks like a lot like a vlog. But I don't want it to be. It's not like this is special or nothing. But anyway, one-handed. You're wondering, Goji, where the fuck are you now? And why are you in the most crackpot spot? Why are you on the most crackpot spots on the island? It's because I'm... Um, uh, I don't want to go to, I want to take you to all the tourist places, but there's a lot of traffic in those tourist places. Um, nobody's walking by right now. The sidewalk. It would be funny if there was someone right there, but no. Just wait, I'm going to get robbed. Or someone might think I'm robbing them. They might call the cops on me. If someone calls the cops on me, you're going to see a police chase first person. I swear the car is like way over there and I'm all, I'm still nervous. Man, it doesn't help that I look howly as fuck. Hey. I don't really know how to hold it without looking awkward. So uh Ain't shit, ain't shit, ain't shit. Whew. I really want to do that. Hey, I'm gonna need both hands for that shit. <laughs> I mean, there is a door. Where's the fun in that? <sighs> Alright. 
this that's academy uh i think they have school now i mean not like right now and nobody's around <clears throat> yeah i always wanted to make one of these but um <clears throat> I always wanted to make one of these. Well, I was hoping it was like, if I had like someone to hire for camera crew or something. But now I'm doing this all on my own. All me, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a gotten you. I think this is um, our capital as it were. But um, a lot of the tourists come over here. Because uh, there's a sign over there that if you've seen any tourist material that says Guam. And uh, Pretty neat. Uh, there are a lot of cars over there. In fact, I don't know if there was anybody on the other side of that wall. They don't know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. I actually don't feel comfortable cussing, but I feel like it's just part of the formula. Anyway. I'm pretty sure that these trees aren't native to here, but if you ever go to a tropical island, you're going to see a lot of those. Because uh, they look cool. And they get really big. I think they get big really fat. I wouldn't know. I haven't grown one. Oh shit, look at that. Look, it's the Geico lizard. That's the island lizard. Look at him. He's all green and crap. I don't see those around very often. Oh wait, yeah, actually, tourists hang out around here too. Don't worry about that. That's just something to do. Yeah. Tourists hang around here. Oh wait, and there's actually a place where I can put my phone. Hurry! Saw nothing. Man, back in the day when the school was still going, I could have probably done that. This is our church. Um, I go here sometimes, not every Sunday, every once in a while. Uh, this is the parking lot for um, the school, but sometimes they use it for just the church. At least these uh, front ones right here. You know, I think I'm gaining confidence. I'm just gonna hold my camera out in front. Lazily slide over that. There's a lot of traffic in this one street. And uh, oh boy. Oh shit, is that? Uh, for one thing, never pick up trash right off the ground. Okay, it's mine now. Uh, this could be a crack lighter. Who cares? Um, Guam does have drugs, I think. But I don't think they're as prevalent as, like, say, mainland or Hawaii. Like, uh, I remember in Hawaii, they used to have this, um, this magazine for ganja. You know, they had, like, because it was legal there, you know. I think recreational use... Uh, it's legal here now, but you need a license. <laughs> but, yeah, I've, I haven't heard about, I think the thing that we have is ice. <sighs> but I don't know if that got resolved yet. Um, usually, there's a food truck over there that sells coconuts. You know, the, you know, the parts of the coconut that you could eat at least. Doesn't, it's whatever. I'm kind of glad that it isn't here. That means I could just walk past and not have to pay somebody royalties. Oh, uh, there's the Congress building. I don't know what they do there. There's a museum uh, that I've never been in, surprisingly. Not because I'm a nerd. And there were cars over there. I was going to cross the road, but hell no. Yeah, this is the spot the tourists go to. Um, I think it's in a bunch of magazines and crap. 
right here, G-U-A-M, Guam. That's the M, that's the A, that's the U, that's the G. Um, for some reason, whenever they write our shit on the mail, they usually skip the A, go straight to M. So it looks like gum. But I don't blame them, because like if you took out the G, you wouldn't understand. If you took out the U, it would just be gam, and it couldn't just be gua. I'm pretty sure we already have something for that. And somebody's whistling. I think they're telling me to shut up. Either that or that's just birds, and I'm being weird. I'm going to turn this up. You may be wondering, Goji, is it even legal for you to be out here? The answer is probably no, but I like to think that the world is free to roam as long as you don't go anywhere you're not supposed to be and you don't get caught. I am not a criminal, but I would not be opposed to being labeled as such if it was something small. Anyway, uh, these are prime locations that people like to think about. Submarina, I don't know if it's open. Marble, Marble Slab, United Plaza, I don't know what any of those places do other than Marble Slab. Submarina, they make sandwiches. Uh, I don't know what they use this stage for. Probably cultural dances and stuff like that. I could actually climb onto it, but there are people watching, so hell no. <laughs> Uh, this is actually the back roads. Uh, the reason that I walked by down this way is because um, I don't want people to see me. Because on the other side is the post office. And uh, there's a line going out the back door and I don't want them looking at me. Because I look really weird. <laughs> uh, that's a speech. Hope nobody's over there. They might scold me for walking so close to them in times like these. These are trees. We have tons of them. Uh, that's dog crap. We got tons of that too. <laughs> uh, Congress building, different angle. Church, different angle. That's a restaurant over there. Uh, I don't know what they do. I haven't been to many of these places because I'm too poor. And now I'm reaching the front part of the museum. And I will cut the camera soon because I don't want to be seen. Uh, fake grass on actual grass. Don't know why. Uh, telephone pole. Lights on it. You can see that's the post office I was squatting at before. Lots of cars. It's stressful. I'm out. All right. So um, there's a spot over there, and the crosswalk's over there, but I don't really want to wait for the light. Uh, the thing about this is that jaywalking is illegal, and um, the police station is just around the corner, down the road. But uh. I'm alright with jaywalking, it's just that there's too many cars. So, uh, and here we see that um, there are newspapers on the ground. Uh, you can take them, but they will get mad at you, so you should leave them alone. <laughs> alright, and now I am here at the statue of something something Pope II. Uh, no cars. You see, I move with momentum. I start with one, I keep going. Uh, that's why I look so funky doing this. Here's this obelisk looking thing that I don't know what they do. I don't know what they do with that. Uh, more trees, a pavilion that I don't want to go to. Because, uh, I don't know. It's too central of a landmark, and I don't want to hang out in it. You know, so other people can use it without my being there. And um, I'm pretty sure that they throw a lot of parties in this area, because it's very 
you know, in the middle of everything. You know, if you forgot something at home, then you could just, like, maybe buy it outside. Um, but I don't have no money. I don't got no drinks left in the car. Uh, I live, like, somewhere up the hill. Uh, doesn't matter. Um, there's some cannons over there. You may be wondering, Goji, how did they chuck a rock on top of that? They couldn't have just put it there on purpose. Someone had to throw it up there. I don't know how it got there, neither. And now that we are approaching the front, I'm going to quiet down in case anybody's here. Because that's rude. Doors wide open. Walk right through. This area don't got nobody in it. This is the wall that I tried to jump earlier. <laughs> Failed. This is a fountain that I'm certain that doesn't work anymore. Which is a shame. Um... I don't know what these walls are for. I didn't come here before. There is a grave that is open. <laughs> there is an open grave. And I hope I don't die here. <laughs> no, there's cement on it. They already finished it. <laughs> it's a dumb idea. Because uh, these doors are just open. I don't know if I'm allowed to be in here. But I'm in here. If anybody calls anybody on me, I'll just run. Uh, camera's still going. In case maybe you're wondering what this place is called, maybe you want a tour here. It is the Plaza de España, listed on the Guam and National Register of Historic Places. No vehicles allowed, but we do have a parking lot. Or this is what they use as parking lot. This is actually for the church. But I've seen tourists come here. And by the way, that is not a police car. That is an ambulance. If there was a police car, they'd be right behind me. But they are not. <laughs> Walking down the same road. Oh, and there, uh, there were people there. But um, I didn't want to talk to anybody. So... There's that. And there might be people in the church that I don't know about. And uh, the church is great, but uh, I, don't, I don't hang out at the church. I don't go to church school, no nothing. Uh, I just read a bunch. There's this bench right here. So you can look at everybody. And the bushes cover your flanks while you have a 180 degree range of view distance. It is very strategically placed. So if anybody comes out this bush, they got to get through the bush and you can run away that way to the other side of the park. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I could run it in maybe 30. Yeah, see, look, there's the ambulance up to over there. I just realized I might not be catching everything I want to catch because... Yeah. Whatever. And um I don't know where I'm going right now. Uh see the thing is uh my mom's my mother she's waiting in the post office to cash in a yellow card. But um she might be done by now. I I think I've been in out here for like half an hour. I'm not on the verge of dying. Um there's a sign right here. Attention, for your safety, do not sit or climb on the Guam letters. Uh, tourists tend to ignore this, because I do see people, um, especially little kids, climbing on top of any of these letters. So, yeah. And now that they told me that, I want to sit on the, on the U, just because. Uh, well, I'm not a prick, so I'm not going to do that. Or I am a prick, but I'm not that much of a prick. I'm not a prick to signs. I listen to signs. Uh, There's a little meeting area for um, all you peoples. Uh, this whole place could be one meeting area for your peoples because um, tomorrow families are huge. Islander families specifically are pretty big, like um, on average. Uh, if you're tomorrow tomorrow, you usually have like two or three, you know, brothers. 
um, but that's only like when you're counting your your immediate family, but then um, your quote unquote extended family usually gets really big. If you're in a tomorrow family, my family is really big. It's really huge. I mean, it's not as big as like say most other people's families, but ours is a pretty good size. And there are people over there, fuck. <laughs> So we're gonna go over to the, the big ass tree over there. Hopefully we can find shelter away from all these other humans. Okay, so it turns out that um the ambulances went right over there. Um over there. Um I think somebody may have passed out. I, I don't know, I haven't been told by anyone. But yeah, someone might have passed out, they might have just called the ambulance because you know that's bad. But anyway, uh this is a flagpole, it got covered by the tree. Uh, the flag don't fly no more, I, I think. Um, there's another great pavilion over there that I'm not going to go to. Because uh thing is, you don't know if there's people there Like once you get there. Because uh, I don't like any of this. Uh, there's that wall over there that I avoided earlier. Because uh, I just don't want to go there. Um, more poles and shit. This is actually dangerous being out alone. Uh, you're supposed to go with a group of people whenever you go anywhere. Um, that's not like... I'm not calling this place ghetto, it's just a good safety precaution that I take whenever I go anywhere. Um, yes, I'm holding my shades. Uh, see, the thing is, uh, no matter where you go, because the world is so dangerous nowadays, uh, not because of people, but because of the attitude that people have. See, because nowadays, um, whenever you go outside, you're immediately both a threat and not a threat at the same time. Uh, Schrod Schrodinger's... Schrodinger's uh, thief, if you, if you will, um, where you see that the thing is, um, people are kind of scared of the outside world nowadays, and uh, when people are scared, like when they feel like they're cornered, they will attack you. You know, they think that they're defending themselves, and that's not a very good mindset to have. But it is a mindset that is had by majority of the people, usually howlies. <laughs> but. Yeah, you should always go in twos because, um, you know, that's just the way that the world is now. I'm not trying to be sad or nothing. It's just a fact. All right, and here um, we have an example of Chamorro cuisine. See, what we got here is the remains of an Asahi can. Now, you see, Asahi is um, kind of a delicacy in Guam. Um, this is our Chamorro drink of choice. It's like... Um, it's like the Hawaiian version of Heineken, of Hawaii's Heineken. Um, I might be wrong, it's either Asahi or Budweiser, but I see this everywhere, so I assume that it's Asahi. Um, but my family likes Budweiser, so yeah, we're going to leave that. I'm going to leave that, because uh, once I touch it, then I am responsible for it, and you don't want to see me with beer, because that will get me arrested. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna squat here and uh, you see um, there's actually a thing of our culture over there. Panogi chamoru puritanota kanta tu matunonya itoru iluga para i honra para i gloria Abiba es la sempara Todo y tempo y paz para hita Zangin en ilangue na bendición Contra peligro na fasa fuham Zus prute y es languan or they wrote Guam, but they wrote the, the rest in Chamorro, but then they put English version at the end. I don't know why, but there's that. I just wanted to squat and share that. And the ambulances went away, so I guess they took care of that. Palm trees are common on Guam. Uh, a lot of dead ones, but usually when you look up, you see the live ones. So I'm going to give uh, a small little... A little overview of Guam history. Okay, so what happens is um, I don't remember where the first people came from because I wasn't one of them. 
but I don't know if like we really found that out yet. But basically, um, what happens is that um, people came to Guam and then they made their own culture, made their own like uh, legends and whatnot. One of these days, I'll talk about one of them if I really feel like it. So what happens? What happened is that um, we were living our own little lives. They were living their own lives, right, as Chamorro people. And then the Spanish came out, and you know this was when they were still doing the Crusades and the Inquisition, or something like that. It was some sort of they were spreading religion basically. So they came around and they burned down a lot of the houses. They killed a bunch of the people, and they basically said, um, "Convert to Christianity, or we will burn you." And we did, or they did. Uh, some of them converted to Catholicism. Uh, some people still stay with the Chamorro culture on its own and they did survive um, and that's why um, if you notice um, in Chamorro and Spanish in Espanol they actually have a lot of words that sound the same because of the Spanish influence on the Chamorro language I don't know any of the ancient Chamorro but I know the a bit of the um, you know Chamorro that we speak now half a, half a day uh, any Fresi I know a couple of the words of the Annie Fressy, but I'm not, I wasn't thinking about it today, so couldn't really try. Somebody.